Hi guys, it's Matt from Maxon UK here, and in this video we are going to talk about global illumination and what actually is it. So a lot of people would have heard me talk about it in some of the other tutorials, but a lot of people ask, what does it actually do? So according to Cinema 4D's help file, global illumination is the interaction of light between different objects within a scene, which is exactly that. So in 3D worlds, light doesn't bounce correctly and it's the difference between having a light that comes in from a window illuminating a scene in complete darkness so only the light coming through the window is illuminated um, and the difference between how that light would actually then bounce around and illuminate a scene completely differently um, using the way light actually bounces around different objects okay so for another example here you can see I've got this sort of simple plain set up in front of me where I have a white floor and a red ball and if I was to just check my render settings and do a quick render you can see that I've got a physical sky and I've got a you know a floor and everything looks a bit flat okay the moment I tick something like global illumination and I click the render button it starts to do another process okay and these little grey dots is the Cinema 4D algorithm figuring out where light bounces okay that's what we call you know it's sort of a light pass it's trying to figure out where all of the photons are being fired at this red ball and where they are you know kind of appearing and coming out it can also work out how much light color comes off of things like this so I'm just going to change this setting very quickly to another type of um, global illumination there are loads of tutorials on how to do global illumination and different things um, and if I just render that, you can see that we now have this sort of red hue down the bottom, even more so here. It's actually calculating that light is coming off here is going to be red and it's going to bounce and it's going to affect the base of that. And you can see that that is, you know, slightly red. Exactly if you've ever seen like a red fire extinguisher next to a, you know, a sort of white wall, you'll see that the light bleeds through. OK, so global illumination is one of the most accurate forms of calculations of proper light within scenes. I hope that was a useful sort of quick video as to what global illumination is. There are a few tutorials out there on how to actually use it and I will catch you next time.